Hi, I am Joe Sam and I am from Technology Research Lab. Oath is a framework to delegate authorization. It is a protocol that allows third party applications to grant limited access to an HTTP service either on behalf of a resource owner or by allowing the third party application to obtain access on its behalf. Access is requested by a client it can be a website or a mobile app oath is not an authentication framework though the authentication occurs as a by product let's see who are the participants in this framework client application the one who is requesting access to a resource server for the user data it can be a website a mobile app or a javascript application resource owner the one who owns the data generally the user authorization server the server which is issuing access token to the client this token will be used by the client to request the resource server resource server the server that is hosting protected data resource server retrieves user data if the owner approves it In some scenario the authorization server and the resource server are part of the same trust domain Now let's see how these participants participate in a oath workflow Let's simply analyze the oath workflow with an example Here Mr Y wants to book a movie ticket using a client application say his mobile phone app In order to do so he first need to register with the movie app or he can use his social profile from Facebook Google or Twitter Now Mr Y decides that he will use his Google account profile instead of signing up a new profile with the movie app Hence the mobile movie app that is the client application will send a Google authorization request to the resource owner in this case to Mr Y The resource owner will grant authorization with his Google credential and define scope. Here the define scope means the level of access the movie app can have from Mr Y's Google profile. Now the client application will send back the received authorization grant which is in some sort of hash code back to the authorization server. In this case to the Google authorization server. in order to obtain an access token keep in mind in some cases an authorization server and a resource server are two different entities the authorization server then verifies the authorization code against its database and provides an access token specifically for accessing only the permitted resources of mr y what and all are permitted is defined in the scope by the resource owner here in this case mr y now the client application will send the received access token to the resource server to access mr y's profile within the permissions provided lastly the resource server validate the received access token and provide the client application with the protected resources of mr y within the defined scope Now let's see an example of an actual oath scenario to understand better. Let me open Netflix and sign in. As I am a new user, I can either sign up now or use my Facebook account to log in as a new Netflix user. Let me click on login with Facebook. Now I am redirected by the client here the Netflix to the authorization server which is the Facebook. Now in this Facebook dialog box Netflix is asking for permission to access my Facebook public profile. As you can see it is only asking for my facebook public profile 
so the scope or permission here is only for my public profile like my age my name my gender and maybe my domicile but in some cases the client wants not just the public profile but wants more information like a mobile number or email address and so on let's see another example let me open domino's website and order a pizza as in the case with netflix i won't be signing up with domino's instead i will choose either of these three social accounts facebook twitter or google plus let me again sign in through my facebook account in this facebook oo dialog box facebook wants my consent so that domino's can receive my fb profile and email address as you can see domino's wants an additional scope that is my email address i am okay with giving my profile info but i have my reservation giving my email id so i won't give that particular scope or permission let's analyze what happens in the background as i have authorized access with permission here the permission in this case is only for public profile the authorization server which is the facebook sends an authorization code to the client which is the dominos in in the callback response then this code is exchanged against an access token between dominos and facebook finally dominos will be able to use this access token to query the facebook reserve server and thereby retrieve just my profile data and not my email id as i have not given permission to access my email id in our next gathering we will discuss in detail about tokens access token refresh token and its scope we will discuss about client registration and all the four authorization grant types authorization code grant implicit grant resource owner password credential grant and the last client credential grant